Hello, how's everybody doing? This is um, extra witness video, and I'm getting back into um, doing the uh, access program. And today we work on a new system. That's the one that I'm on. Okay. Um, I'm going to talk about. Um, I mean, I'm going to talk about the new system because there's some things, excuse me, there's some things in, um, there's some things in the, 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 um, table that you can't, that you can't, like, do. I mean, you can't put in, okay? Because it is a table, okay? So it does have limits as to what I can put in. So today I want to put some things in that I couldn't put in the table, and we're talking about the new system. There's one thing, there's some, uh, what I wanted to say about the new system is that just like a lot of the other things that they have on the table that I have already done, it's disconnected. It's just, it's just the new system. Okay. So what I'm trying to say is, it's just like, they took something and pinned it up here, 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 here. And then a new system. What are you going to do about the new system? Okay, the new system is here. Park. You can have whatever you want. And it's just like a picture without any explanations or anything. So it doesn't connect to anything else that I put in the, in the table. In the tables. But the weird thing about it is, is that... I mean, I'm connecting things because I have the table. I can visually see things and and see the concepts and everything. But their new system, which I didn't put in, which is obvious, is that it's not connected to anything else. I grew up as a Jehovah Witness. I have friends that are Jehovah Witness. And when we talk about the new system, it's isolated. Another weird thing, which I can see by doing these tables is that um, it's on the earth. That's another thing. So, which we don't know if the earth is going to be here. I mean, we know that we have a possibility of being with God in heaven or we pretty much leave it up to Jesus. Okay? Like, I was thinking when Jesus is on the cross and when he, one of somebody, I mean, the one, one of the men that were there or something, and he says, why are you here? And anyway, he told him, he goes, um, truly I tell you today, you will be with me in paradise. Okay. So, but did he care about, oh, I mean, like a physical place or what kind of place? It's because of Jesus that he is going to be there. So you pretty much have to put the trust in Jesus, God, or I mean, Jesus, God. But you can't formulate something that he didn't supply for you. Like, for instance, the earth. We don't know if it's going to be the earth. It could be another place. It could be another planet. Or whatever, we don't care. The thing that we care about the most is being with Jesus, but that's not mentioned in the new system. The new system, what I'm trying to say, it doesn't connect to Jesus. And the way they have Jesus is going to rule, but it doesn't, it's disconnected, you know? But they never really talk about, you know, um, how it connects with Jesus, how it connects with God. So. It's just suspended, like everything else, in what they believe. So I wanted to put that point in. And another thing that I couldn't put in was they don't realize how hard work things are. They're annihilating everybody from the earth except for themselves. But the thing about it is, is they do they actually realize the work that has to be put into anything that you do on earth? Because, 
God gave us the earth to live in. Okay. So we have to take care of it. I mean, he helps us with so many things, yes. But we basically work to fulfill our needs, to endure ourselves, to make the world ours. And he doesn't really um, come in between the things that we want for the earth. You know, he pretty much gave it to us to enjoy that we work together. I mean, work together. And they never stress where all this work is going to come from to supply this paradise which is on earth. And we know how the earth is itself, you know. It seems like they, they would be at least into green peace, <laughs> you know what I mean, if, if they... If they feel that they're going to be the ones that are going to um, occupy the earth. I mean, but instead, they don't even have any idea. They don't supply any information about or prepare themselves for anything. And what I wanted to say also, before I get into the table, um, how it is to do, there's something else that's coming up, okay? As far as doing this, this table, I learned a lot of things. Um, what's, what do you, what happens to those? I mean, you could be like really, really nice and everything, okay? I don't, see, okay. So taking evil out and Satan, everything that he did to the world. Um, <clears throat> what do we left with? I mean, what do we have to do ourselves? First of all, we have to get along together. <clears throat> Excuse me. We have to help each other. We have to do things. We have to plan things. All those things take a lot of time. And I was thinking, even this YouTube channel. I mean, it's just, I just have a channel, a YouTube channel. And I spend maybe from the morning when I wake up till, and this when I get finished with this, I'm getting ready to take a shower and go to sleep. Okay, and that's how much time I spend on the YouTube channel. It's a lot. I enjoy it. It's fulfilling. Sometimes I think like it's, um, I mean, there's the opposite of just not doing anything, but I don't like that. You know what I mean? I mean, I want to do things, you know? And... I don't, doing things gives you energy, you know, for me, I'm not saying for anybody else, but I'm saying, and yet they're taking this attitude that they don't have to do anything and they're going to be supplied with the new system, okay, because they actually don't do anything. I mean, they don't um, contribute to, to the things that we have to do to learn, to do this, to do that. Not in every aspect. I mean, some of the individuals in the Jehovah Witness do, they have done things, I'm sure. But I'm saying, as far as teaching their people, like for instance, the, the literature that they have is gone nowhere. I mean, it doesn't teach anything at all. And their theocratic ministry school is not teaching them anything. I mean, it's teaching them. Maybe they get it's useful in one aspect in that they're speaking and that they're using their talent to speak and talk. But you know, that's pretty much it as far as religion is concerned. It's just not. I mean, I mean, we're talking about religion has been going on and on and on for their hundred years. And not just that, it doesn't, another thing I was thinking, and these are things that we went over before, but I'm clarifying, clarifying them, and I'm thinking of them in a deeper sense, that they don't realize that they have to do something, okay? Like I said, I mean, like, I mean, like I said, the channel, I mean, I spent so many hours, about 10 hours in my day. I spend with like practicing about 10 hours practicing, but yet what can happen? What would happen if I didn't do anything? I mean, nothing would happen, you know? So there's people on earth that 
I mean, there's people on Earth that I'm just going to have to say would like to show witness because that's what it's about, who could be very, very nice people, but yet they have to do something. I don't know what happens to people who, who are so caught up that they don't do anything, that nothing is done, that they don't prepare for anything, that, you know, so that's the big question. As far as, you know, the type of people you are when you're a Jehovah Witness, okay? And everything is dependent. Their survival is actually dependent upon the world that they deny, okay? Because they're in a space where they're allowed to not do anything and they're allowed to say something negative about those who are actually running the world for them so now i'm going to do this that's all that's pretty much i wanted to say i just wanted to um show that even if you're really nice even if you're the nicest person in the world i mean you still it's you have to do something. I'm taking away evil and everything else. I'm taking away evil. But didn't just say if it's no evil at all. And then you have the Jehovah Witness. But they have to do something. They, I mean, they have to... Something has to be done. You just can't just... Um, stay in a bubble and don't contribute. And not do anything. That's what I'm, try I'm trying to show that it's not really a good position even if you're the nicest person in the world. I mean, even if you're just, if they're not causing any problems, which is great, but still and yet, things have to be done. So I'm going to finish, I'm going to do this. That was my talk. <laughs> and this is what I'm getting from putting this information together. So now I'm going to do um, the new system of things, okay? Um, it's going to be in um, um, contrast, okay? In contrast form. I told you what that's going to be. So I have a Jehovah Witnesses, ex Jehovah Witness, and worldview. That's the contrast, but it may change. I mean, I might put another religion or something like that. I might add, <laughs> maybe I'll add Catholic. I don't know. I mean, so, for some things, I may do it. I may add something but for now on it seems pretty set as Jehovah Witness, ex Jehovah Witness in the world view. So I have and for so that's the contrast. I'm contrasting Jehovah Witness, ex Jehovah Witness world view. And um I'm comparing let's compare contrast. Yeah. I'm comparing um um belief, alternative, description and description and probability. So belief as far as the Jehovah Witness and as far as the Jehovah Witness, the belief, they totally believe in it. Number one, they totally believe in it. Number two, they base their future on it. Three, it has a very powerful effect on them in that they constantly wait for the new system to come. ex Jehovah Witness is number one. They don't know what to believe. Number two. They use their ability to not think about any doctrines of their Jehovah Witness life. Be it true or false to them. The worldview. They would need more evidence as to believe in their new system. That would exclude them from. That would excuse that would askew let me read it over they would need more evidence as to believe in their new system that would ex exclude them until they become a part of it saying that you know you know they just need more information i mean because they're saying that they're they're gonna die but they need more information to say well why should I come to your religion? I hope you got that one. 
Okay, the alternative for the ex Jehovah Witness, ex Jehovah Witness in the world. Alternative. There is no alternative. One. Two. Going against their beliefs would leave them in a position of losing out on the new system of things. This would be their only alternative. Um, alternative ex Jehovah Witness. They are open to a world of things that they can believe in. Now they're open to a world of things that they can can believe in. Number two, they have a big ch um, chance to make up their own replacement. Or they have a big chance to make up their own replacement for the new system of things. So they can replace the new, sy re new system of things. Oh, how did I want to put that? What I really wanted to say, because I said they have a big chance to make up their own replacement. What I mean by that is they can make up something that will replace the new system of things. It can be made up. Like, I, I've, I've talked to Jehovah Witnesses, especially my niece. I mean, because she, I don't know if she was felt for anything, but her father was. So I think they all left to or anyway, it's a big deal. I'm a big scrambled up thing. But then I've heard some of her concepts and it's like a replacement. You can replace things in your own mind. So like you can make up something and say, oh, it's not gonna be a new system, it's gonna be um, this. So I put down, they have a big chance or I don't know what it should be, a big chance to make up their own replacement. Yeah, for their, um, for the new system of things, they have a big choice. I don't know why, but the big chance. They have an opportunity, or so anyway, I'm gonna leave it like that. So the worldview, which is a worldview of Christians, um, it doesn't apply. Alternative, it wouldn't apply. Okay, description. Okay, description for Jehovah Witness, ex Jehovah Witness, and worldview. Description one, okay, for Jehovah Witnesses. A place where they live forever, no, where? okay, a place where they live forever with no vision of how it will come about, beautiful place where they can go to the park, see animals of all kinds without the animals hurting them. Um, three, they can have whatever they want. Number four, they have no I no ideas, no idea. Okay. Okay, they have no idea of who rules anything. Um, when they think of a new system, they just think of their material selves. They really do think of their material selves because they're in it for themselves. They want to make it and that's it. They never think that God is there or Jesus. I've never heard in the picture where there's like, uh, it's just not, it's, it can't be because it's suspended. It's isolated. Everything that they believe in is pretty much isolated from the other things. It's so, like for instance, they don't believe in a resurrection, but they believe that Jesus was resurrected. I mean, like things like that, they don't touch each other, they can't connect. So, in what they say is the kingdom, that Jesus or God has a kingdom that's going to be here on earth. I mean, you know, things like that just. I mean, and then there's no, then there's heaven, only 144,000. But like I'm saying, they're in pockets. They can't connect to each other. Okay, they never think of God there or Jesus. Okay, let me go back down. Number five, they don't worry. I'm just gotta put this thing down. This, this arrow does not want to go down. They don't worry about. Now I gotta go back up. Sorry. Number five. I just. 
Oh, you know, I have two fours. Four. They have no idea who's going to rule anything. Number four. When they think of the new system, they just think of their own material self. Like I said, they never think of God is there or Jesus. Number five. They don't I keep slipping that out. Let me go back to number five. I'm sorry. And then I got two fours. I'm not corrected here because I'm online. Um, there it goes again. Okay, number five. I'm trying to get to number five. I could just make it bigger. There it goes. Okay, number five. They don't worry about... I already put that down. They don't... I think I already did it. I don't think I have to go any further. I'm, it keeps slipping out when I... And then I'm going to take a class of this... Um, this... Uh, this access program because I haven't done it in so long. <laughs> I'm sorry about the rule and I think that's it I think that's it because I can't I can't get to I know what I'm going to do real quick I'm sorry I know what I'm going to do real quick uh, I'm going to see if this I'm going to bring up the roll One twenty-five. Okay, so I have four, and I'm almost sure it's it. There's nothing after five. Let me see. System, just think of themselves. Five. They don't worry about who's gonna rule. Okay, that's it. Okay, I'm almost sure. Okay, so anyway, and then um, for the extra witnesses, they lose, they lose the feeling for this right away. They lose the feeling for this right away. It is not a topic of conversation that they would describe about. So they pretty much into state like when you're extra witness. Like I said, I, I put everything in boxes. That's what I where I started where we came to this thing because I started doing boxes and stuff like that and um, you don't really care you know but then I wanted to go into the boxes because I wanted to find out things this is how we got to this thing right here and I wanted to find out information about what happened to me the things that didn't have to do with Jehovah Witnesses and that's how we developed and we kept going in I kept you know um learning more and more and we ended up with this this access program um and then uh the worldview as far as description it's um fictitious okay probability the jehovah witnesses don't have the ability to think this way when it comes to the new system so they, they can't really say anything about the new system because they're not allowed, really. There's no probability. So they can't think about a probability if it's going to happen. If they do, then they're in trouble. They're out. Okay. And ex witnesses, they don't care if it is true or not. They spend too much time getting their lives together to think about anything else. They're so busy. I mean, as an ex witness, you have to, you know, view the world... You have to do this world thing, get yourself together, and you really don't have time. But one thing you got is that you're not, I mean, you, you stop worrying about, you know, Armageddon. That, that was the only nice thing. I mean, you, you stop worrying about it. You, you can't, you don't have time to worry about the, the Armageddon. When you're in your witness, you always have to fear about it. And that's it. And what did I say about the um, worldview, which is the worldview of Christians? Um, number one, not too great. 
too great with the information. They don't think of it too much with the with the um, information that's given. With the information that they're provided with, they they don't really think too much of it at all. There's just one more point I wanted to make because it's been much time getting their lives together to think about this topic. And I guess that's it. I mean, the only thing is, the only thing that struck me this time was the ex Jehovah Witness, how they, um, how they're able to, like, like, forget about, you know, the new system, <laughs> forget about all those things. I mean, like, when I became an extra, oh, I, I guess you don't officially become, oh, there's one thing I, point I want to think about, no, 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 about this trip that this um, guy who does the trips and, you know, the get-togethers with the Joe Witness, I want to talk about that before I end. Um, so, I mean, we don't have that much time to think about too many things. I mean, you have to get your life together. So it's not really a big deal, which I see. A lot of things are brushed over when you're an ex Jehovah Witness. But what I want to say, you don't really come an ex Jehovah Witness until you're, until you're ready, I guess, until you get to a certain stage. I guess until you start communicating with other ex Jehovah Witnesses, which is really great. So that's it for this time. And I usually say what's going to be the next one. The next one. You know, I wish that there was a... I mean, I'm, I'm kind of flaunting my station. But uh, I wish there was one like this. When I was, you know, like looking at the YouTube. Because I remember when I used to be interested in somebody's information. And... Then it would come to six videos and it would be like, there's nothing else there. You know what I mean? And then I guess they would be busy with their lives. Like there was one guy who I really enjoyed and then he just stopped doing, he stopped doing YouTubes. And there was one lady who, oh, I loved her YouTube, but then she stopped too, you know? But the thing about this, um, Pierre Durer is going to continue with the station. Thank you very much. And the only reason why I'm doing this, not the only reason why, it's just that I always think you have to move forward. You always have to learn new things. And this is what the channel is about, actually. Like, even when I sing, a lot of people don't realize, but just having a tone in your voice, being able to finish a song, it takes a lot of work. I mean, and the thing about it is, is that a lot of people don't realize is that it's not perfection yet, but I go for perfection and I keep working on it. And the only time I keep singing is, be is because I learn something new each time. And like right now, I'm working on five. I actually work on five. I mean, now I'm working on five songs at one time. There's some, some songs I do like within one day. Then there's some songs that I've been working on for two days. And then there's other songs I've been working on for like three days or four days. But the thing about it is I, synch I synchronize, you know, everything. But the most important thing is that I continue to have an ability. Like I said, I practice at least 10 hours a day. I just know how to do it since I've been doing it for so long, you know. But that's what the station is about. The station is about improving everything. It's not so much about... It's about being yourself, too. I mean, that's the most important thing. Um, being yourself and progressing. And that's what the, my Jehovah Witness section is about. Because sometimes I was getting afraid. I was like, well, I keep talking... I don't want to keep... I don't like talking about the same thing all the time. I want to give something, you know? But to give something, you have to do something. And like, I have to work on this, you know what I mean? I can't work on it while, I mean, I have mistakes and stuff and I work on it while I'm talking to you, but I have to do it before I get on, on, on board, before I get online, you know? Right now, I mean, I'm taping it, but to me it's online because I don't, uh, I don't edit and stuff like that. This is pretty much it. It's just like if I'm talking to you, if you're my friend and you are my friends. I mean, some people don't want to be my friend. But um, I'm talking to you like that, you know what I mean? And you get to see me just how I am because it's at home. 
I don't have time to like, I mean, I have two jobs. But you know, like another thing too, you could be doing anything. That's why I was trying, I'm trying to, I wanted, the thing I wanted to stress here today was that you have to do something. I mean, like I walk, I mean, this is one thing that happened to me. I'm not gonna say which store or anything, but I walked into a store and these people told me to get out, like get out, you know what I mean? And I couldn't believe it. And I was like, what's going on, you know? And I got out, but then I, I wanted to know why. So I went back in and said, get out. You cannot come back in here again. Get out. And I go, well, what's, what happened? I didn't know what happened. I'm just showing you that you, you have to do something. You just can't like sit around, you know? And so, um, so I called the store. I called the store because it was like, what happened? And they go, were you one that was walking here? You had blue, 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 black shirt and blue pants. I go, yes. They go, you got it. You can, you cannot welcome in here. You can't come in here anymore. And I go, well, can I find out why? I mean, I just want to know why she go, because you were stealing. <laughs> she said, because you were stealing. And I was like, I didn't steal anything. She goes, yes, you did. You stole something in the store. And it got me so afraid. I said, well, did, did I not pay something? I mean, like, I'm so conscious, you know? So anyway, I called their main office. I called their main office. And um, they were pretty nice. But, you know, they never called me back. So anyway, what I'm trying to say is it wasn't me. And then my, my friends were in the store and they heard them talking about it. So this lady's crazy. I mean, she's really cra full blown crazy. And she had the other people, her employees tell me not to come in. And they say that um, I go in the store and I, and I use B words and be this and be that and be this and be that. But the funny thing about it is, so when I got home, I had to check my receipts to make sure I paid the last time I was there and I did. But the thing about it is, is that I stopped going to that store for a long time because I walk, I used to walk, when I come home, I used, when I go home, I used to walk past the store and I stopped because I went a different way. So I hadn't been going to, only went to the store once in like the last month, you know what I mean? So it wasn't me, especially, I mean, my friend heard her say, I mean, she taped it. She heard her say, because the main, I called the main office, the main office called her, her, um, her, um, her, her store. And she goes, I know it's him because I don't miss a face. I know exactly who it is. First of all, I mean, I get up early in the morning. I go right to work. There's no way in the world I have time to go. And I'm not going to go to the store and call B words to anybody. Okay. Not just that. I can't even ha I can't even have a second personality because I'm doing songs. As soon as I get up in the morning, I start working on a song. You know, what I mean, practice pretty much practicing and working on a song, but most of it is practicing. So I'm like walking and practicing like constantly. I mean, all all day long. And plus, it wasn't me because I don't go to the, I don't go to the st I mean I don't even go to the store there anymore. I stopped going to that store. So what I'm trying to say is you could do anything. You could be perfect or whatever, and you cannot do anything. But you got to do something all the time because anything can happen. You know what I mean? You can't take that road to where you don't do anything. Anyway, that was nice. I mean, I just wanted to tell you that. Anyway, I'm looking forward to seeing you. Hopefully, it's going to be tomorrow. And I hope everybody enjoys this YouTube. Thank you very much. Bye.